Hey, welcome to the Carol Remarks Podcast. My name is Carol, and this is where I host my remarks on glamour, pop culture, and front page news. Let's get right to it. Well, hello and good morning from a stormy day morning in Alabama. Good morning, my little love bunnies. Good morning, one and all. Coffee is good this morning. Yes, coffee is great. So, uh... Yesterday was Friday. Yes, it was. Today's Saturday. <laughs> yes, we get the baby today. Yeah. We get the baby today, then we're not going to see him for three whole three weeks. Three weeks, that's correct. My goodness, his other grandma. That boy travels. He's two years old and travels more than we do. Yeah, he sure does. He's already been he's been to Arizona. Twice. Twice. Going back to it, Arizona and Colorado and <laughs> points beyond yeah, next week. Yeah, three whole weeks. Crazy. <laughs> With the other grandma. Just live it up, kid. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a big day with him today. We're not obviously going to be able to take him to the park because of the rain, but that's all right. So last night He's we got enough toys here. Yes, <laughs> last night we watched the fourth Star Trek. Yes, and let me tell you, the voyage home was that it? Yeah, yeah. It was. I've seen it before. Mm-hmm. I just don't remember seeing it. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I don't remember seeing it. Maybe that's when I was. The hell you don't. Maybe <laughs> the hell you don't. Maybe that's when I was. You know, in my drinking days, and I don't remember much. But I will say this about the movie: even though the storyline was kind of stupid, um, I laughed my butt off so hard, mm-hmm. especially during some scenes. Now I rarely laugh out loud for a long period of time yeah. at a movie. But you did last night. This one, I lost it. And you're thinking, <laughs> it's not a comedy, but you're laughing at a Star Trek movie? That was kind of funny. But it was the reason why you laughed at it, though. Yes, because they had to go back to, what, 1980-something? In the, yeah. Uh, on <laughs> Earth with Spock, and they're all dressed up, and they're, you know, they're used to being all high-tech out in space in the 23rd century, and here they have to go travel back in time, and they get back to Earth in the 19, late 1980s, and it's, it's just hilarious. Yeah, and they have the, you know, the Earth culture the way it was, and, of course, now that they've progressed into the uh, you know, two centuries later, you know, they don't use cuss words and all this kind of <laughs> stuff, and watching Spock try to adapt to... <laughs> You know, with his logical not, not logical mind, you know, he didn't know, for, you know the proper times to win, proper time, you know, to, to use the curse words, and it was kind of funny trying to see him trying to adapt to doing it. It was it was Just funny. Just them walking down the streets of San Francisco in their uniforms and get up, their gather attire, oh, yeah. and then they came to a street corner and walk out in front of the car. Yeah, and then. Asshole. Double asshole. <laughs> but then he turns around and looks at the rest. Kirk turns around and looks at the rest of them and says, Scatter! Y'all look like blah, blah, blah. I don't know. It's just, <laughs> oh, it's just, you have to watch yeah. it. At least YouTube that particular scene. Yeah, it was good. All right, I know I went way, I went on way too long about that. But it was good. We're watching the Star Trek series. The next one is, oh, the weird one where they go to that planet. Like oh, yeah. the, the inner most galaxy where they think God is or something. Yeah, I, we'll have to... <laughs> I was going to say, we'll have to smoke a joint and watch it. No! <laughs> I said that because we were talking about marijuana this morning. Yeah, they were... T- well, their news were, was talking about marijuana, and mm-hmm. then you and I started talking about yeah. it. Mm-hmm. We had a pretty good conversation about it. Yeah, absolutely. Do you it, think it should be legal? No. Okay. I don't. Why not? Uh... Because it, I don't, I have some experience with it. <laughs> it's a long time ago, but I have some experience with it. And it was some pretty, it, I did some pretty intensive research. <laughs> <laughs> back in the day. Into it. Back in the day. Mm-hmm. And it, it does, it, it, it screws you up pretty good. Uh, you know, it does, uh, uh, what were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. That's a joke. I get it. My I get term, it. Uh-huh. My, my short term memory is much better today than it was so, back then. But it screws up your short term memory. It, you know, uh, when you're stoned, you know, it does impair you quite dry. And you know, here's the scary part: if I were ever tempted to do that again, which I'm not, 
I would be scared because they say of the THC content is so much stronger. And then, you know, on Facebook, the ads pop up and I look at what they're selling and I think, you know, it doesn't even look the same anymore. It looks like it's just pounded with resin and THC in there. I'd be scared that it would just, you know, really screw me up. And I don't want to do that anymore because, you know, I did that. Yeah. Back way back when. So a lot of people argue, well, alcohol is legal. Well, okay, if we're gonna legalize marijuana, then we should have the same, same. stipulations and Absolutely. laws like alcohol does. Mm-hmm. Like don't drink and drive. It's against that's against the law. You should not smoke a joint or whatever and go out there and drive. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. But people will do it. Yeah, and and so well I'm not I mean for, they're gonna do it if it's illegal there, too. There was an, I saw I saw a, a little quip on marijuana the other day and it was a you know kid being asked about marijuana and he said you know you know it doesn't really it doesn't fuck you up like everything else does you know alcohol i wouldn't fly on a plane so yeah so what you're saying is that if you were smoking a joint with the pilot before the flight <laughs> and you'd get on the flight he goes well yeah if he were qualified man i'd do it because he because you know he's he knows how to handle a, a, a big plane like that when he's fucked up i'm like but they don't let him. What? But they won't. But they won't let the pilot on if he's drinking. What? <laughs> you know, come on, man. I don't. I. I just. Yeah. I. I look. If you're a pot smoker, and I get you know people. What about medicinal purposes? Okay, Fine. I understand. There right. probably is some scientific evidence for that. Maybe. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I agree that you know used as a medicinal purpose. I would do that. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. But you know. There, anytime you're impaired, and it does impair you. Don't tell me it doesn't, because you know it does. Yeah, I mean, That's why a, else have it know, and smoke it and, if it's and, not going to change the way you feel? And you know <laughs> exactly. And yes, for those people who have addictive personalities, it it does help and lead to and be a bridge and be a uh, I'm going to call it a condiment. Condiment. <laughs> I like to it. To other other drugs. Which could be more addictive that can get you mm-hmm. into more trouble that can do it. So, yeah, you know, some people say, well, it's it's not a gateway drug. Well, yeah, to I some think people it, is. it can some be. Some people it can be. It damn sure can be. Yeah. Um, you know, experience has shown me that, and it's, and it's, and I've watched it in people mm-hmm. extensively. Yeah. Um, so, you know, yes, and I do have years and years and years of research into a lot of these things. Um, so, you know, the argument stops right there. Well, you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I do. (laughs) Yes, I do. Um, so yeah, I would not be one to see hope for the legalization of it, you know, just as a, as a, you know, go to the grocery store and, you know, get some, I'd like to buy some Maui Wowie, please. (laughs) You know, I I just don't, I'm sorry. I'm against that. Yeah. Come, come at me. Is that what they, yeah, is that come what they at say? me. Is that what they say? On, yeah. Come at me. Yeah. yeah. Fight me. Yeah. Come at me. <laughs> come yeah. at me. That's what they say. Yeah, like, change yeah. my mind. Yeah, I get it. You know, right. so if we're going to, but here's the other thing. If we're going to legalize marijuana, where's that stop? Let's legalize heroin. Let's yeah, legalize yeah, we, fentanyl. Let's absolutely. legalize all of it. Absolutely. And then, then what? Yeah. Yeah. And then they'll probably say, coffee's not good for you. We're going to take that off the yeah. market. Oh, my ass. <laughs> that will. Oh, I wouldn't I'll, doubt it. I'll fight you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. We have talked eight minutes. Do you want to cut it off here and just do a question of the day? Never ask a man if he wants to cut it off. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> You know what I meant. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. Okay. Do you want to end here? Do you want to end here? Do you want to end here? Do you have anything else you want to talk about? Uh, no, I don't, I can't think of anything. I'm hungry. What are we having for breakfast? I don't know. Okay. Sounds good. Well, all right then. Let's, uh, do the question of the day. Okay. All right. The gent has the question of the day. All right. The question of the day is when you are stoned, which would you prefer cake or pizza? Because, you know, obviously you get the munchies, right? Do you even get the munchies anymore with this new kind of marijuana? I don't know. And I never, I don't have an answer because I didn't smoke it enough in my younger days to get the munchies afterwards. So I don't know. What did you always crave? More pot and beer. (laughs) (laughs) Okay.
uh, McDonald's. Oh, <laughs> all right. Yeah, that just brings back a, an experience. Let me share it. Sure. Uh, some buddies of mine and I, we were out. And that was the the intent. We, we had rode from where we grew up. We have to go across the causeway over to the mainland where the McDonald's was, and we were going to go. So, so we started smoking some dope on the way over and smoked it all. We get to McDonald's and start eating McDonald's and spent every dime we had going back up and ordering more food, more food, more food. And I mean, spent every dime we had eating McDonald's and then drove back home, got stopped by the cops. And of course, you know, at that point in time, we're, you know, pretty much. You got stopped by the cops? I wasn't driving. I was in the backseat. Um, and got stopped by the cops. And of course, you know, we didn't have any, we smoked all the dope, so we didn't have any dope. And everybody was, you know, pretty much full of food. And they just kind of looked at us and shook their heads. They'd just go home. Oh my you gosh. Know? I mean, you know, we were privileged white boys. Well, you know, <laughs> it may have been because I would think I, I don't know. I might, I might have had something to do with that at that point in time. But anyway, uh, you know, because we didn't have any dope and we weren't, you know, screwed up. Cause but we, you were stoned driving a car. I wasn't, but, <laughs> uh, was, whoever but was. you know, it was, it was, you know, you couldn't tell at that point because we'd probably been two hours sitting mm. there at McDonald's eating. And like I said. What were you driving? Was, was he driving fast? No, well, he pulled over because somebody spilled their Coke. Oh, <laughs> And we, it was after the toll bridge going across, and we pulled over. And there's a big area to pull oh. over at. Pulled over, and, of course, the cops saw us, and he just pulled up behind us, came up, checked us out, and oh. said, so y'all go on home. So he didn't pull you over? No, uh-uh, no. Gotcha. Uh-uh, but anyway. Gotcha. So, How yeah. much food do you think you ate? Oh, you know, between the four of us, probably 10 to 12 Big Macs. Oh, my gosh. Quarter pounders, <gasps> fries, just, you know, it's like... A, you know, you sit down and eat it and go, has anybody got any more money? <laughs> oh, wow. yeah. Yeah, that was, but that was in high school. That was a long time ago. And I'm, I'm pushing, you know, I'm older than 60. So <laughs> that was 45 years ago. <sighs> All right. Memories, huh? Memories, yes. I guess it didn't affect your long term memory then. No, I remember that. <laughs> I remember, All I, right. I, I actually remember the guys that I was with, too. All right. I sure do. Okay. Well, and, you know, the funny thing about that is one of them was uh, a, he's a biologist and a professor at FSU. So yep. he can, ha- so he knows what a definition of a woman is. Oh, absolutely. The other one was a, he, he, the other one, and I'm not going to say names here. The other one was a uh, modern day catch me if you can type guy. Oh, yeah. He was a jack of all trades. Well, he was that smart. He got his degree in, it was funny, he got his degree in engineering from Georgia Tech. Didn't take a computer class the whole time he was there. Went to IBM. He was in Atlanta. He went to IBM, told them that he was an expert in computers, blah, 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 and they hired him. <laughs> I remember at our 10-year reunion, him telling me, he goes, yeah, I didn't know a damn thing about computers, but I went in and sold them that I did. I've been with IBM ever since. Wow. I was like, okay. Mm. And the other one's a professor at some other college. I can't remember what mm. it was. But, yeah, you know, you didn't have, the, you know, uh, dumb people. So do you sure. follow these people on Facebook? Have they all become liberals since they're professors and One stuff? is. The mm. other two aren't. Oh, okay. Yeah. But anyway. I don't have, you know, I don't keep up with any of the people I went to high school with. Yeah, you had different circumstances in high school, too. Yeah. Uh, you know, mine was a little different circumstance. Yeah. And I just keep, I don't really keep in contact with them a lot, but I just see what they're doing, where they are, and all that but stuff. But you know who they are. Yeah. I don't know really who anybody I went to high school with. A couple people, mm-hmm. a couple people, but I don't, you know. Anyway. So the question of the day is. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. What is the question of the Oh, what do you. Enjoy your McDonald's. Yeah. Or, or your cake. Whichever right. one you like. All right. Got to go. Thanks for listening. Go dogs. What's that? Who pays your salary? What's that? Who pays? What's that? We're not a democracy.